What is today? Friday? Good Friday! That's right, we're making rice pudding! I've never made rice pudding. Some use eggs, some use evaporated milk. My original plan was to do a Libby's from the 1920s that used evaporated milk, but we're not! Oh, I knocked over the salt. Shake it over my back! I couldn't fully read the Libby's recipe from the 1920s. Libby's evaporated milk. So, we're going with sun-made ra- These aren't sun-made raisins. These are cheaper. We're in a budget. We're using a sun-made raisins recipe from 1925. Gives us a chance to use our corningware two quart. Basic idea is a third of a cup of rice. Doesn't seem like a lot to me. Third of a cup of sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt. That seems like a lot of sodium. And one cup of raisins. So we might do three quarter cup of uh, dark raisins, maybe a quarter cup of golden. But either way, we're gonna have a one, one cup of raisins. Four cups of milk, third of a cup of rice, third of a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, cup of raisins. The recipe does say wash the rice. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do with George and Gracie Allen. Burns and Allen? George Burns, Gracie Allen. They were a comedy duo, husband and wife. Loved each other very much. Gracie Allen has a rice pudding recipe that involves eggs, and I don't want to use eggs. I don't want a custardy. But Gracie Allen says, and I have a clip of it, show the clip, the key to a good rice pudding is to wash the rice. And she says to wash it for even an hour. Wash it for an hour. Just put it under the tap. I don't know if I'm going to rinse them the whole hour, but we're going to rinse the mofo out of this rice, baby. Very simple. Very simple ingredients. 1925. Sun Maison. <laughs> Sun Maison. Sun Maiden. Sun Maiden. Sun Maiden rice pudding. Let's stop yapping and let's get cooking! raisins are mutant. I like the size of the golden raisins. Mmm. Oh. That is sweet. I need smaller bowls. Got about four servings here. We gotta try it. We need some cinnamon. Not 
too much, not too little. Looks like there are too many raisins. 1925, Sun Maiden. Yeah, it tastes good. Very sweet. That's too sweet. I think I blame these mutant... I think I blame the mutant raisins. That's a big raisin. I think you need the small raisins. It's like a prune. Maybe it'll help me go potty. Wow. I like the texture. Okay, too many raisins. There are too many raisins, and it's too sweet, in my opinion. And everyone's entitled to my opinion. Flavor's good. I think I would go with a quarter cup of sugar instead of a third. And, and maybe a half a cup of raisins. I mean, these are big raisins. And you get a, a cup of small raisins? That, I, that's just too many raisins. You know, it's not raisin pudding. Does it taste good? Yeah. I'd gladly eat the whole thing. Sugar overload. Mutant raisins. Genetically modified raisins. They shouldn't be that big. They're like prouds. All right, let's take another bite. Let's one more bite. Oh, the rice is cooked, and that's a miracle. I was worried about cooking the rice in milk. Let's try and get some without a raisin. There are too many raisins. All right. Oh, there's a raisin. All right, no raisin. You know, you know, I don't think I've ever had rice pudding. I think I've always had tapioca, so I'm not used to this. Why didn't I make tapioca? Um, I think I think we're done here. Sun-made raisin, rice pudding from 1925. Thanks for joining me this Friday. You know what I'm gonna say. What am I gonna say? Can't stop eating it. Mmm. Mmm. If this doesn't make you go potty, I don't know what will.